there is a big gap in our understanding of the laws. And this big gap is within present day quantum mechanics. There are two procedures in quantum mechanics, the Schrodinger equation and the making of the measurement, and they're inconsistent. I say it quite strongly. It's not just that we haven't got the right interpretation of quantum mechanics. They're just inconsistent. Now that's interesting. If there was a huge gap, maybe that gap is where the theory has to be outside a computational system. Okay, this is, uh, many people will dispute that and they say, well, this is, you know, taking your logic too far and so on. Well, it seems to me there is logic in this. The next step, though, is the one that people mostly question. Because if inside our heads we are exploiting that gap, that needs, it means that we have quantum development in the system which takes us to a level somewhat beyond present technology in our experiments. Experiments still support quantum mechanics and we have not yet seen where something new has to come in. But there are good reasons, in my opinion, if you bring these two great theories together, we see this conflict suggests strongly that there must be a change in the rules of quantum mechanics at a certain level. And that certain level is not too unreasonable that it should be relevant in the brain. Because it has to do with the movement of mass of a very tiny amount. It's very big for quantum mechanical experiments, but very tiny for even for things in biology. So we're looking for tiny displacements of mass. That's the Schrodinger's cat, if you like. They can be in two places at the same time. But then it spontaneously becomes one or the other. And in its becoming one or the other, it's doing something non-computational.